this person may not want to lose the connection with you guys uh, they are holding on. This one seems to be a stubborn and a moody person, guys. It's their way or the highway. It seems that the highway can be the option for some of you following the chariot. This connection maybe was positive in the beginning, then something, something uh, faded away. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go. So your energies, Six of Pentacles, Four of Cups, chariot and the magician conscious decision to move on from a situation your person's energy is the moon knight of swords ten of wands and the seven of wands touch of stubbornness it seems meeting energies page of swords ace of swords justice major arcana six of swords crickets guys after a conversation our focus no surprise five of sword bottom of the deck five of cups it seems a missed chance why because maybe it was not possible it is not possible to work things out properly in order to set solid foundations Peaceful resolution. Let go. And compromise. Maybe you have tried. But it seems that you can be ready to make a decision, a final decision, in order to choose a new direction. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand, decision, 100%, string along, this person may not want to lose the connection with you guys, uh, they are holding on, they can be a stubborn uh, person, wedding rings, uh, this is a higher goal guys, it seems even if we have the justice, so it can be about legal matters. Let's consider the energy. Maybe some of you are married, let's say. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Bottom of the deck we have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. This one seems to be a stubborn and uh, moody person, guys. Uh, because of the moon, in this case, the Knight of Swords can be about harsh words. Discussions can be a factor. If we follow these energies, uh, this person is not willing to change their mind. It's kind of like it's their way or the highway. It seems that the highway can be the option for some of you following the chariot. Kinda uh, revving up the chariot in order to move on. Why? Again, because there is a woman up, woman down dynamic, six of pentacles. What you are getting uh, may not be enough. Especially if this is a marriage indeed, guys. Uh, some of you can get tired of the situation. And the four of cups can become your approach not interested anymore in what this person can offer but at the same time this can even be a mirror because maybe your willingness to compromise was not reciprocated by this person along the connection that's why the sadness that's why the disappointments even the regrets we can say because there can even be 
the perception or the opportunity to say out loud that time was kinda wasted, you know? Uh, kinda hoping that there was a change in favor of the connection. It is not a matter of wasting time, if you ask me, because um, we have to go through the, the journey, you know, and we have to give our best in order to work with what we get. This connection maybe was positive in the beginning, then something, something uh, faded away, I would say, and this person may have chosen to remain stuck in a pattern that maybe was even beyond their comprehension. The Moon, Five of Swords combination, paired up also with the Seven of Wands, can describe someone that doesn't understand that a specific pattern can truly work against a connection or personal interactions. So they can hold on for their life, but all of a sudden the situation is going to become unbearable even for them and the man in the Ten of Wands can uh, let go, indeed, um, of the burdens. So guys, the justice, again, it can be a legal matter uh, type of energy or it can be a right and fair decision. The Justice Lady can swing the Ace of Swords in a Queen of Swords fashion. It's a, it's a moment of truth. It is. And some of you have already started to gather knowledge. If you were married or if you are married, um, this process has started a while ago. But then, it's about crickets. Six of Swords, extremely quiet energy. Some of you can truly embrace the role of the people that can leave the men in green and red in the Five of Swords behind. Let's see what's hidden in the moon for your person. Ooh, a lot of cards, my goodness. Two of Pentacles, a cycle that was going on, is still going on, and we are basically stuck, we are not going anywhere. Over and over, the same things, the same old song. King of Pentacles, this can be an energy about commitment, that can follow the wedding rings. Um, well, this person can be a spouse, yes, but for those of you that maybe uh, were hoping for a higher level of commitment when it comes to this connection, uh, there is an issue with commitment for some of these persons. Five of Wands, inner conflicts, guys. Uh, not necessarily competition, I do not feel that it is a factor. But the Moon is an energy about the unknown. And it can be a fear factor, it can be a discomfort, and the Five of Wands can bring noise to the mix. We cannot think. Page of Pentacles, a small token, guys, it can be an apology, especially if the two of you are committed or married. Um, the apology doesn't seem to be one that can pay off. And the Empress, a healthy growth. Um, unfortunately, something that we couldn't find properly in this connection. So, the Empress can even be how this person sees you guys. That's why they do not want to lose you. But what they have been able to do in favor of your connection was not enough. And now it can be too late to save, um, to save the day in order to stay by the Empress's side very difficult. Let's see the chariot guys for you. The chariot for me is guided by the star so 
um, for some of you, uh, no more fulfillment in this connection, only disappointments. Here we go. A talkative uh, reading, this one. Here we go, the Emperor. So, interesting, counterpart for the Empress. Um, it can be an alert about taking charge and action following the Magician, guys. But if you are the Empress, um, you can decide to move on from the Emperor. On an energy level, let's say, this person fell short. Even if they may have had, or maybe they still have, bossy ways, truly my way or the highway, three of wands, expectations, aspirations, that were not fulfilled in this connection, some of you can turn your back on this person. Ace of Wands. It can be a passionate offer, guys. If that's the case, if we follow the Ten of Wands, this person can say, look, let's try again. Let's reignite the spark of passion in favor of our connection. I do not feel that uh, it can be the case. Plus, Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, we can move to the four wedding rings. For those of you that were not married, the aspiration cannot be uh, fulfilled. Knight of Pentacles. Um, this is a reliable energy, guys, but it can be your energy and it was not matched by this person. So basically, they were not able to level up. If we think about the King of Pentacles, commitment was not something that they were um, looking for, maybe. And that's why the offer for some of you was not coming. So, guys, let's see. Let's see the Six of Swords, because it is the energy about the progression that is at hand. Let's find out more about it. Wheel of Fortune. It's a matter of time. The cycle is about to face a turning point. King of Swords, another energy that can be about a conversation or, let's say, an exchange that can allow us to share a decision. The King of Swords can notice all the factors involved in a particular situation in order to make the best out of them. Uh, this person may not see the decision coming, even if the alchemy of the connection was uh, extremely shaky. Six of Cups, guys. Memories. My favorite card in the deck, all about the purest of arts. Uh, genuine intentions. Some of you can question the intentions of this person in favor of your connection. If this is a marriage, it is possible, and I have to say that, that some of you can be also apparent. If there are little ones involved, the transition has to be the smoother possible for them in order to facilitate um, the progression, you know. But the situation is going to change. Tower, bottom of the smaller deck. Crumbling down of a connection, and we come back to the very beginning of the reading because the foundations, for whatever reason, uh, were not strong enough. That's why some of you can decide that going away can be the best possible thing. Let's ask for guidance, considering these energies, guys. Into the unknown. What can happen? What will happen? What should I do? But maybe this is something that has already started as a mechanism. At some point, the Ace of Swords can come to the rescue. Truth and clarity. Being in alignment. In order to take action in a precise and rational way. If the connection is not working anymore, we have to acknowledge that coming apart. It can be a missed chance, guys. Um, it can be a disappointment. But what's the alternative in a situation like this one? 
to remain stuck in a connection that is more a source of troubles, discussions, arguments, even fights, you know. Time's up. Rock bottom. For some of you, the connection hit rock bottom. For others, it can be recognized as a dead end. And that's why we have to manifest a change. The chariot is about the willingness to move on. Because maybe it is not possible to compromise anymore. And some of you guys are almost ready. Then the interaction can go extremely quiet. Especially if there are no children involved. On the contrary, maybe we, we will have to find a new agreement, let's say, in order to deal with uh, the circumstances um, for the better of the little ones that can be involved. But this person, truly the man in green and red in the Five of Swords, they can be left behind with their ego, with their my way or the highway, and with their sorrow too. Let's talk about the satisfaction then. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.